Okay, I'm going to take the game's advice and go ahead and do the tutorial on sensors. So here we go. Sensors. And as usual, turn off the remote control. Sometimes in Robotropolis you will want your robot to detect certain objects. For example, you might want a robot to home in on an energy crystal and pick it up for you. Indeed, that sounds like a good idea. Robots use special detectors called sensors to locate objects. You'll learn about them here. Let's continue. Okay, there are three types of sensors in Robotropolis. The sensors will help you and the robots find various objects. First off is the directional uh, sensor. The directional sensor has four outputs, as you can see, and those outputs react to the direction that an object is in. So, for example, if um, that's a crystal sensor, so if there's a crystal directly to the left of that uh, of the robot using that sensor, then the left output will turn on. And if the crystal is down and to the right from the robot, then the bottom and the right-hand outputs will both turn on on that directional sensor. Next is the in-same-room sensor, which turns on just if the crystal is in the same room as the robot. And then there's a contact sensor, which turns on if the robot is touching the crystal. That will be, I'm sure this will be explained later in the tutorial, but I just gave you a brief summary of what those three sensors do. This is a contact sensor. It detects objects that touch it. Place the energy crystal on the sensor. What happens when you let it go? I'm going to pick up the energy crystal and leave it there. Oh, I need to turn on the remote control. There we go, see? And so this uh, sensor reacts to the crystal. Pick up the crystal and the sensor turns off. Drop the crystal, sensor turns back on. Sensors only detect objects that are not being held. Let's take the sensor with us. Carry the sensor into scanner and connect the wire from the sensor output to the antenna input. Okay. That was from the scanner output to the antenna input. Um, hold on. Do the wire like this to make it look a little bit more legible. There we go. Come back outside. Drop the crystal on scanner's body. I'm going to turn on the remote control because otherwise it won't work. When a contact sensor is inside a robot, it detects objects that touch the robot's body. So I'm going to drop the crystal here. Turn off the remote control and take scanner with us. This contact sensor is on because the crystal is touching it. Turn the remote control off and on. The sensor only works when the remote control is on. Drop the crystal on scanner's body. Uh, yeah, so see if I pick up the crystal. Actually, I picked up the sensor, but still. The sensor is still on because the remote control is off, but if I turn on the remote control, the sensor turns off. Same thing with this. If I leave that there, the sensor stays off until I turn on the remote control. But if I now leave the remote control on, see the sensor turns on and off. As soon as it touches the crystal, the sensor turns on. As soon as it leaves the crystal, the sensor turns off. Okay. Uh, let's see, so what are we doing here? Drop the crystal on scanner's body. Turn the remote control on and off. The sensor inside scanner only works when the remote control is on. Take scanner with you. Okay. I think you folks get the idea. It's pretty straightforward. This contact sensor is shaped like a triangle. It detects triangles that touch it. Sensors detect objects that match their sensor shape. Can you rewire scanner to beep when a triangle touches it? Leave scanner here. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to rewire scanner, so it, uh, yeah. First, let me get rid of this wire. Uh, I'll take this sensor and put it inside scanner and wire. Uh, I'll do it like this. Wire this to that. There we go. So now when that triangle sensor activates, the antenna will turn on. Turn on the remote control, pick up the triangle, and drop it here. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Oh, it says leave scanner here. Okay, I'll leave scanner there. This is an in-same-room sensor. It detects objects in the same room with it. Since the sensor has a square shape, it detects squares. It is on now because there is a square in the room. Take the sensor with you into the next room. Now the sensor is off. Actually, it's not because the remote control is off, but if I turn on the remote control, 
the sensor turns off. Since there was no square in the room, go back and bring the square onto, into this room. Drop the square, now the sensor comes on. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I'll leave the remote control on. And, yeah, remember that sensors can't detect an object you are holding. So, right now the sensor is off, but if I drop the square, the sensor turns on. Okay, take the sensor with you. Put the sensor inside checkers and wire it to the antenna. Okay. I'm going to leave the sensor right here and solder a wire from here to the antenna's input. Now go back and get the square. Checkers will beep when you drop the square. Get the square. Checkers is silent for now, but if I drop the square... Yeah. Checkers will beep when you drop the square. Uh, when an in-same room sensor is inside a robot, it det detect detects objects in the same room as the robot. Take checkers with you. This is a directional sensor. It detects the direction of an object in the same room. Pick up the sensor and move it around the token. Yeah, this gets a little bit uh, interesting. If you pick up the sensor, see how that reacts. Now the left hand and the top outputs are both on. If I come here, only the top output is on. Now the top and the right output are on. So basically on a directional sensor, one or two of the outputs can be active at the same time. Or none. If you take the token out of the room, then none of them will be active. But Okay. Pick up the sensor, move it around the token. Outputs pointing in the direction of the token turn on. Put the sensor and token inside checkers and carry the robot with you. Okay. I'll take the token. See, now all the outputs are off because it thinks there is no token in the room. It doesn't realize that I'm carrying the token. Just, well, it doesn't detect the token if you're carrying it, so there you go. Alright, I'll leave that there, and it says to carry checkers with us, so I will. You can use the directional sensor to make checkers home in on the token. Go inside checkers and connect a wire from the robot's right thruster, A, to the left pointing output of the sensor. Okay. So I'm wiring the right thruster, A, to the left pointing output on the sensor. Let me move the sensor down a little bit so that, there we go, that looks better. Take the token out of checkers and drop it left of the robot. Checkers moves left until it is even with the token. Right, so if I pick up this token now, and I'll drop it, uh, I'll drop it here. And checkers will move to the left, and stop there because it's no longer uh, the token is no longer left of the robot. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the remote control for a second, and we'll take checkers with us. Complete the wiring as follows: left thruster to the right pointing sensor output, top thruster to bottom output, bottom thruster to top output. Okay, I can do that. I know how. Uh, let's start with this. Then I'll start with that, and wire it to that. Uh, what else? Uh, bottom thruster here goes... Eh, how am I gonna... That's gonna... Hold on, let me... Trying to figure out how to make this look not too terribly ugly. Um, bottom... Eh, oh, that, that sucks. Uh, like so, and... Yeah, like so. There we go. Experiment by dropping the token in various parts of the room. Watch checkers home in on it. So now we have a homing robot of sorts. I'll drop the token right here. Turn on the remote control. Yeah. And if I stick the token up here, let's say, checkers is now smart enough to go towards it with the help of the directional sensor.